What's up YouTube, Scott Lett here, owner of Pro Exterior Cleaning. Hope you guys are doing well today. Currently at a school system. I don't know if you can see all that ephus that's just covered in mold and algae. That's one location. Drive back around here, let y'all get a better look. See all the green and mold and mildew on that school all the way down through there. That is what I am cleaning, or hopefully cleaning. So I'm gonna formulate a, a bid today, and then I have three other locations to go check out. I was supposed to meet with the director of maintenance today, but um, he's busy handling some other uh, priorities that he has to take care of, So, which is understandable, but he gave me, to, he gave me the, the okay to go look at the other sites by myself, which is, which is awesome. So I appreciate that a lot that he let me do that. But that's site number one. Headed the other three, so I'll show y'all when I get there. And we just discussed the north side, but let me drive around the front. So if I were just to clean this north facing side here, that would be 1500. But I want the whole school can see all the mold and that's bad a lot of ephus here guys and stucco on the schools which which with a three percent four percent mix you know you can probably x jet that but uh i'm gonna 12 volt it i just ordered um some new half inch hose. I ordered some Flexzilla hose today and then an aluminum uh, toolbox type thing. I'm gonna mount my uh, hose reel on top of that and then put my pump inside the box. So so yeah, so that's where, I, that's where I just was. But if you go around to the front side of the school, I mean, it is just as dirty. So I'm gonna send him two options in this one quote. The north facing side only, and then the north and the front facing side. All right, guys, so that's stop number two. Two more to go. All right, guys, site number three is pretty obvious. I mean, that is dirty there. This probably hasn't been cleaned in years, so. Just gonna drive around, look at everything. See if I can find any upsells. I am going to mention I clean concrete as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This whole school's dirty. All right, I'm going to hop out and look at the back side because I'm going to offer, you know, cleaning just the north side and then well, that's aluminum and then cleaning the entire building. So. We'll see what happens. So, easy job here. I can knock this out in probably an hour. Drive back around. Everything is frozen here. It's currently 17 degrees, guys. It is cold. I love how this is an alternative school, but they got to beat the volleyball set up right there <laughs> let's get a closer look yep all that's pretty dirty three percent mix 12 volt knock it out no problem Oh, there's two buildings. I'm glad I caught that. Let's see. Looks like some rust right there. I will definitely upsell that. 
So the address he gave me is for that building. Let's see, building A. Definitely gonna, I'm gonna give him a bid for each building. I have to look up. I would have to look back at the email and see which one he said, but. A lot of rust stains on on these buildings as well so I'll be sure to include that in price all right guys that's site number three one more this is an easy job here I mean I won't even have to get on a ladder all right guys one more stop it's right across the road here but I had to eat lunch treating myself some Zaxby's let's go this next one is gonna be a high ticket job and I'll show you why here in a little bit. All right guys, pulling up to the next one. See this big building right here? This is it. It's called the Multi-Purpose Activity Center and it's overlooking this huge football stadium that they're rebuilding here. So that facing right there is just covered in nastiness. So that's gonna require a lift. So price gotta go up, guys. <laughs> Anytime my feet leave the, the ground, price has gotta go up. So I'm also gonna upsell post-construction cleanup. As you can tell, they're redoing the football stadium bleachers there. But, <clears throat> That's it, guys. That is it. Seriously, one last stop for Mr. Danny Crane, our winner of the J-Rod and Cheat Sheet. It is headed your way, sir. All right, guys. Well, I'm headed to the house. I'm going to spend the remainder of the day working on these four bids for this school system. Um, actually, I was supposed to go to a residential job this morning. It was a $600 job that I landed yesterday and I was supposed to do it today but um, the weather here is just is too cold and it was actually the customer who rescheduled with me he was like hey man you know it's going down to 17 degrees I said yes sir um, I'm okay with working in this cold it doesn't bother me but for safety purposes he said let's reschedule it to next week when it warms up uh, the warmest day next week is like high in the 40s so I'm gonna try to get out there Wednesday of next week and knock that job out. But anyways, um, that gave me a great opportunity to go out today and um, get my eyes on these jobs. And uh, I looked at them on Google Earth just to kind of get an idea of you know pricing and whatnot. I have a number in mind of what I want to make on you know all four jobs for this school system. So I'm gonna work on that, break down, you know, everything for this guy, and uh, you know, give him a very thorough, you know, bid for each location. So it's two schools, um, an alternative school, and then like a, it's kind of like a uh, recreation center type thing that overlooks the football stadium. So um, that one's gonna be a high ticket job because that front facing is just huge. That's gonna require a lift. That's probably gonna take me a few days to do that job just because it's not a ton of work it's just the nature of the work um, anytime you get in a lift it just slows things down so uh, but I'm still gonna give him a fair price and uh, also what I'm gonna do is I did this for the school system I cleaned for last summer um, I give them package deals you know if they just pick and choose say he chooses two of the four he's got to pay full price for those two schools or you know, um, or that athletic center. Um, but if he decides, hey man, I want to choose all four to move forward, then he's going to get a package discount. I'm going to let him know. So it's kind of an incentive to them to, you know, to save some money and get all the properties cleaned at once. You know, but if he breaks it up over time, then he's got to pay a uh, full price for, you know, per location. That's kind of how I do it and, and it works. So, but, um, so yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day doing that. And um, I think the rest of the week, 
it's going to be freezing cold. So I'm just going to catch up on some administrative stuff, some taxes, uh, do some marketing, work on my uh, CRM um, software, just get everything ready for the busy season. Um, I did order some Flexzilla, Flexzilla and um, aluminum box to put my pump in. And uh, I'm going to probably be up upgrading that here this week. Ordered some of those Huck boots that everyone's been wearing because my feet, man, oh. I was wearing my Ariat boots on that farm I was cleaning. And I got home, my feet were killing me. So I need something a little lighter but still waterproof. And uh, those Huck boots seem like a good option. So I went ahead and bought some of those. So but anyways, guys, I have an announcement coming up. Actually, uh, next video. And uh, we'll go from there. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, this, goes, this, this comes to show you guys that if you go out and you stay consistent, you go for those commercial accounts with schools and apartments, you know, during your slow season, which is what I did, the fruit of your labor will, will pay off. You know, I sent these emails, I mean, four or five months ago, and now I'm getting the opportunity to put in these bids, and I'm probably going to land these jobs because I know no one else is doing it. So and they don't, this guy doesn't have the time to track down two other power washing companies to go put bids and meet with them. So, um, I'm the guy. So I hope they like my pricing. Um, but we'll see. All right, guys, uh, Scott let Perkster cleaning and we'll talk soon. Big announcement coming up.